In order to improve mobility in northern Utah County, the Utah Department of Transportation is expanding six miles of SR-92 from I-15 to SR-74 in Highland. The roadway will now be known as Timpanogos Highway, as well as SR-92. In addition to widening the roadway to two lanes in each direction with a center turn median, UDOT has incorporated two unique elements into the project, a diverging diamond interchange with I-15 and Utah's first commuter lanes. We'd like to take a few moments to show you how these new elements will be incorporated into the new Timpanogos Highway. The Diverging Diamond Interchange, or DDI, will be similar to the newly reconfigured interchange at American Fork Main Street. While different configurations were considered for the Timpanogos Highway Interchange, UDOT chose the DDI because it will function more safely and efficiently than other possible options, while preserving the existing I-15 infrastructure. The DDI looks different from a traditional freeway interchange because there are cross points where the traffic lanes actually cross over to the left side of the interchange. This may seem counterintuitive at first, but these cross points are actually the reason why DDIs function so smoothly. Since driving the DDI will be a little different, let's take a closer look at how a DDI works. Let's say you're driving eastbound and you want to get onto I-15 heading south. As you drive toward the interchange, you'll get into the furthest right-hand lane and simply merge onto I-15 southbound. Easy enough, but what if you want to head north on I-15? In that case, you'll move into the leftmost lane as you approach the intersection. As you cross through the intersection, you'll notice cars on your right waiting to cross onto Clubhouse Drive westbound, as well as a traffic lane with vehicles from southbound I-15 heading east to Timpanogos Highway. You continue underneath the bridge and move into the left turn lane, merging directly onto I-15 northbound. Not too complicated, especially since there will be signs and street markings that will make this whole process easy and intuitive. Now let's say you're on Clubhouse Drive heading eastbound and you want to cross under the freeway and continue to Timpanogos Highway. In this case, you can use either of the two regular traffic lanes. Simply follow the pavement markings and continue through the next crossing intersection where you will switch back to the right side of the roadway. Exiting the freeway through the DDI will be a little different as well. Let's say you're driving northbound on I-15 and want to head east on Timpanogos Highway. You exit the freeway and stay to the right when the off-ramp divides. Then simply turn right and merge on to Timpanogos Highway. If you want to go from northbound I-15 to the west toward Thanksgiving Point, stay on the left side when the off-ramp divides. The DDI configuration allows you to merge directly into westbound traffic lanes without having to cross eastbound traffic. Continue under the bridge, following directional signs and pavement markings until you come to the crossing intersection where the westbound lanes will switch back to the right side of the roadway. You then proceed west on Clubhouse Drive. It's that simple. All of these movements will be clearly signed and marked so you won't have to question which route you should follow. The second innovation being implemented along the new Timpanogos Highway is the commuter lanes, which will begin just a little east of the new DDI interchange. The idea is to create a separate roadway adjacent to the arterial, with one lane flowing in each direction that would link more directly to and from I-15. You will notice the lane splitting off of eastbound Timpanogos Highway near Traverse Mountain. In order to access this lane, simply merge onto the lane to the right. This is not a high occupancy lane. You do not need to have more than one person in the car to use the commuter lane. The eastbound commuter lane goes under Triumph Boulevard and 1200 West and over Center Street without stopping at any of those intersections. The eastbound lane ends just west of 1200 East. Now let's say you're in Highland and want to go westbound to I-15. You repeat the same process westbound from this point just east of Highland Boulevard where the westbound commuter lane begins. The lane will go under and over four intersections before it ends just before the east frontage road. You can access the westbound commuter lane from Highland Boulevard or just west of 1200 East. The highest standards of safety and efficiency have guided the development of the Timpanogos Highway DDI and commuter lanes. Everything has been designed to ensure that navigation is seamless, intuitive, and safe. We hope you've enjoyed this look at the Timpanogos Highway project. If you want to learn more, please visit our website at u.utah.gov slash sr92.